Okay, I'm going to go through how to read a Kindle book on a Nook. Here's what we're going to need to do this. First would be a Kindle book. That would be uh, in the Amazon format. Caliber is a e-management software we're going to download. We're going to need that to do the conversion. Additionally, we're going to need a DRM plugin that works with Caliber so that we can do uh, the conversion around digital rights management. And finally, we'll need a Nook. And I do want to say one thing about DRM is I'm not advocating piracy. These are books that I own, and I just want to be able to read them between different devices. That being said, uh, go to Caliber. Uh, you can Google this, find this online, this web page. You can read all about it. It's a nice e-book management tool. Uh, find the version. We've got Windows here, so I'm just going to kind of step through a little bit here on uh, downloading this and you just go through the install and go and, and, and just follow the steps. Now I'm going to go to Amazon and uh, the first thing we're going to do is going to go over to our account and we're going to get I'll go to management uh, your digital content and we're going to go find a book. So this is where you know the first step is to get a an Amazon book and I'm going to go get the uh, Steve Jobs book. I'm going to click on that little tab there and then I'm going to go deliver and I'm going to deliver this to my Kindle for PC not for Kindle for Windows 8 that's an app on Windows 8 I want just to go to my PC I'll hit deliver and now the uh, book will be on my PC uh, I can open up uh, the Kindle for PC app here not for Windows 8 which is a little bit different and you'll see Steve Jobs book is now downloading and available. So that's the first thing is I need to get that file. Okay, so now the file is downloaded and you can see if you go up into a Windows Explorer under Documents, My Kindle Content, and you can see there's your list of books you have. And the format is uh, extension AZW and that's an Amazon Kindle uh, file. So now Caliber ebook management, we're going to go ahead and open. Uh, this tool is pretty straightforward. Uh, you can see I have a few books already here, but I don't have the Steve Jobs book, so I'm going uh, to go get the uh, content there. So I'm going to go ahead and add books, and you can see um, there I found my Steve Jobs book. Click OK, open, and you can see it there. And you can see it's the AZW format on the right, and that's kind of important um, because you'll see how all, all this works. I'll point out a few differences. Um, now you can right click on here and you can convert books and individually and you can see on the left I got the AZW format input and the output would be EPUB which is what uh, Nook uses. So I'm going to go ahead and say yeah go for it convert it and sure enough you'll see what pops up that says cannot convert Steve Jobs because of DRM. So that's why we need to get this DRM plugin. Again I'm going to stress that I am not advocating piracy. I own this book. And I don't see any reason why I should have to uh, buy it again for a different format. Um, so that's simply all I want to do. So uh, you go to Google and go ahead and search for Caliber DRM plugin. And I'm brought to uh, this this blog um, where somebody had made this um, tool to get around that version six two two. And so simply go and download it, follow the instructions, and what you're going to get basically is you're going to download a zip file, and you're going to extract that zip file, and then we're going to load it into Calibre. So uh, that's what it looks like. I have already have it on here, actually. Um, so uh, you can see uh, once you get that, what it's going to look like is this going to be a zip file. You can see version 622, and you can extract it. And then what you're interested in is this DRM Caliber plugin at the top. Okay. So we don't really need to deal with that right now. I'm going to go back to Caliber. I'm going to go to Preferences, and I'm not. I'm going to do Change Caliber Behavior, not the Get Plugins. Scroll down to the bottom. I'm going to select at the bottom Plugins. I'm going to Load from File, and then I'm going to select that DER Caliber plugin folder, actually the whole folder, a zip file there I should say. Once I find that zip file, it's going to ask me a few questions. I say sure, okay, no problem. You'll see it listed there. 
and we're going to close it. Now we're going to go do that convert again. I'm going to go find this Steve Jobs. I'm going to convert individually, and you'll see it says AZW to EPUB, and I'm going to say go ahead. And guess what? It still does it. So close it. Not to worry here. We're going to close the whole thing down. this because it does say to restart it, AZW EPUB, and I still get the same problem. So what I have to do actually here is remove this file. And we'll see the difference here. So I'm going to remove this file, uh, this book. I'm going to go back and get it again and import it again into Calibre. Okay, it's going to convert it or bring it in, and now you'll see one thing that's different over here. It's not AZW. It's MOBI, MOBI. So it already, can, it does something there. And now I'm going to go MOBI to EPUB. And now it worked. Okay, so the final piece of this, now we have our book and everything. We're going to actually go and see, connect up to the Nook. Okay, so. You can see here in my caliber uh, folder here, I've got the Steve Jobs and it's an EPUB and a Moby. I'm going to plug in my Nook and uh, that window pops up for the Nook and you can just go to um, the My Files books and you can see I've got some Harry Potter books there but no Steve Jobs book. Now when I plug in the Nook it kind of disables, I can't, I'm down there trying to touch it and stuff and it's not doing anything and that's fine. So now all I'm going to simply do is I have the two windows open up here. Once I finally stop playing around with it, <laughs> I got these two windows and I'm going to go find my Steve Jobs EPUB book. I'm just going to simply right click copy and paste it into that folder on the Nook. Um, and you can see it's there. Now, if I try, let's see. Try to eject it, it says, you know, hey, something's in use. So you just have to close the window. Close the window, eject it properly, uh, the Nook as a USB device, and then you will see the screen flash in and now it's able to be swiped. And so if you can see the Steve Jobs book is now there. And there we go. A lot of steps, but once you get all of these pieces installed and set up, it's really easy. Now it's a matter of just putting files on your computer, converting them, and then uploading them to your Nook. I hope this helped. Good luck.